sexy riding and racing is awesome. I flipping love it. Those techie descents on a twitchy bike and then the lung busting climbs. There's no better feeling when you've conquered uh, the race, you've crossed the line and you've made it in one piece. But do you know what? There's a few essentials that can make cross country that little bit easier. Now, it's a beautiful sunny day here in Wales and thank you to Quimcarn Forest and Natural Resources Wales. We're gonna go for a spin out in the mountains here and take a look at what those essentials are. Let's start with clothing then, because jeans and hoodies, they ain't gonna cut it here. Now, I'm not saying you gotta go diving in head first and cover yourself in lycra, but there are a few do's and don'ts and a few essentials that are gonna make life a little bit easier when mashing those XC miles. And let's start with winter. Now, in the winter, clothes fit in, like a nice base layer to keep you warm and a nice snug long sleeve top for when you're out in the, the cold conditions are really gonna help, especially something with pockets in the back. Something like this one here. You see it's got some pockets in the back. I can stash my gels, my phones, a few little spares. Perfect, that is just what you need. If the weather does get horrible, then maybe a nice lightweight shell jacket as well to keep the wind and the rain off as well. Leggings wise, you're probably gonna want something like, oh, what have we got here? Like a fleecy lined, pew, full length bib. Comfortable and it is gonna be nice and warm as well. Moving on, let's go straight to summer. Because everyone wants to ride in the summer, you're gonna be looking shorts and t-shirts. So again, a nice sort of, if you wanna go Lycra, Lycra XC top, snug fitting. It's not gonna flap around. It's gonna be fast and efficient, especially if you're racing. As well with those pockets in the back, you can stash your energy gels in there, no problem for a little mid-race snack. Shoes wise, well, you can wear any shoes. A clippy shoe will do the job, but you know, it's a nice, XC Disco Slippers, they're gonna give you the biggest power transfer, comfort, and the lightest as well. They've often got boa systems, so they do up nice and snug and tight. But hey, I've been known to race in my enduro shoes, so it can still be done, don't fret. But you know, I think one of these shoes probably weighs two of these shoes. Let's just bear that in mind. So that is your clothing. And again, obviously shorts, you're into shorts, you want a good, comfortable chamois, because that butt of yours is gonna go through all sorts. So uh, it's nice to be comfortable down there. Uh, and again, nothing flaps around, so you're not gonna catch anything on tree branches or other handlebars and people when you're on the start, things like that. It's just fast, aero, efficient, quick, cross country. Helmets wise, well, any helmet is a good helmet. Always wear a helmet. That's just, you're crazy if you don't wear a helmet. But XC wise, well, you'll notice this little thing, there ain't no peak at the front. It's got, it's slightly higher at the back and it's really well ventilated. So it's gonna let a lot of air in and keep you nice and cool compared to, it's enduro counterpart. See how much lower at the back that is? This big old thing on the, you don't need a spoiler for cross country. You need to go fast. This next one is pretty essential to everyday living, not just XC. Nutrition, of course. We as mammals aren't gonna get far without food and water, and it's even truer when we start hitting up them big old rides. Cross country is pretty intense, so getting the right foods and liquids in you is key. Energy gels and bars are a great way to do this quickly and efficiently, and something that can be carried with you easily, making them an essential to all day sessions on the bike or getting that gel down you quickly during a race. Don't be put off either by the thought of horrible tasting, chemical filled goop either. These days, the gels, bars, and drinks are pretty bloomin' tasty with natural ingredients and healthy options available they really can be an essential stashed away to keep you out of the red if you're into your XC epics or racing these skinny tired rocket ships then clippy pedals are going to be where it's at now that's not to say that you can't ride or race in flat pedals i mean if anything that could throw a whole different dimension on things and make it real fun but if you want to get that competitive edge then clips are going to be the choice for your pedals Mind how you go though, because essential as a good XC cross country pedal is, they're delicate little things. You take one big old rock strike and kapew, that pedal is game over. More and more XC riders are using droppers these days, but are they essential? Well, this one splits opinion for me. On the one shoulder, Rich is telling me, yes, Rich, they're a well good idea. Droppers make you go faster and the bike even more capable. Mm, while the other Rich is telling me, ah, you don't need that, it's unnecessary weight and faff that isn't gonna gain you any time. I just don't know who to believe. I suppose, yes, then they are essential items. If they're gonna make you go faster and build your confidence, then having one on there really can't hurt. If you're an 
absolute XC thoroughbred though and a weight weenie to boot and want every advantage you can get, well then maybe you do need to ditch it. Another thing to think about though is that, well, if you have got the technical abilities and you don't mind that seat being up all the time, then yeah, again, a dropper is probably not needed. I got a dropper on this one, my hardtail, that's a solid seat post all the way. I'm pretty confident descending on that and I want that thing to be absolutely featherweight. So non-essential there. Losing weight in XC is a great way of getting the upper hand, be it zipping up the local climb to set a new PB or off the start line of the next race that you do. There's a ton of areas on your bike that you can make all these key little saves to really get the weight of your bike down. Everywhere from cranks to stem to bars, even grips, seats, seat posts, you name it. But if you want to save a big, big chunk of weight, then the wheels are somewhere that's a really good way of doing that. Switching out to a really lightweight set of wheels, like these carbon ones on here, can literally save you hundreds and hundreds of grams. All right, they might set you back hundreds and hundreds of pounds, but you gotta think of the performance benefits that you might get from that, especially if you're really into it. Now, you're gonna have added stiffness, added lightness, the rolling speed is all going to be improved. And all these little gains can really, really bump up your results. The frame, obviously, and the forks as well are all places that you can slash those weight savings. But hey, I get that's expensive to do. And you know, for a lot of us, those weight savings may not be as essential as you think. Oh, that's a wrap then. That is my XC Essentials done and dusted. Hopefully I found a few of those pretty helpful. I tell you what though, what's really helpful, let me know down in the comments what you think your XC Essentials are. And you never know, they might make the video next time. But that's a wrap from me. Thank you very much for watching everyone. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Happy riding, stay safe, and I'm gonna catch you next time. I'm gonna carry on my ride, in fact, because it is a gorgeous day. Ciao.